Hello and welcome to your 38th Django tutorial. On today's tutorial, we're going to create an edit view for our newsletter app, and we're going to do that by opening views.py file behind get object for for import redirect. This will allow us to redirect to a different view. All right, now let's go down to the bottom of our views.py file below control newsletter detail, and let's create a function for our edit view. So to find the function, we'll say control underscore newsletter underscore uh, edit. We're going to pass two uh, arguments, uh, request and primary key. All right. Same thing we did up here in the detail view. Uh, next thing we're going to do is use the get object or 404 function like we did up here as well. So we'll just retype that news oops, newsletter newsletter assign that to uh let's say get object 404 newsletter and then pk is equal to pk all right and then down here this is now gonna all right so up here started looking like the detail page but it is actually gonna look like the rest of it. it's gonna pretty much look like this all right Minus oh. actually, yeah, it's gonna look like that, but I just thought of something. But we'll go and work with this first. Uh, if request dot method is equal equal to post. We're going to do something and we'll say form is assigned to newsletter creation form, which we created beforehand for our um, when we create our uh, newsletter. So we'll just say request dot post and then we're going to pass a variable here. So instance is equal to new newsletter our variable up here all right so the object we're getting so we can pass in the data from this object into our form all right um and then we'll say if form dot is underscore valid do something and what we're going to do is newsletter uh is equal to form dot c all right, so we'll save the form and then let's return redirect and we'll do control underscore panel uh, and I think we call it detail control underscore newsletter underscore detail All right, and we got to pass primary keys equal to newsletter dot pk pk primary key so newsletters primary key okay so we're going to get redirected to the detail page when we do that now the thing i thought of beforehand we have to set up how to send an email right uh when i jumped into this i didn't even think of that so let's go ahead and uh set up how we're going to send the email um Yeah, we'll just run an if statement here. If newsletter dot status is equal equal to publish, we're gonna do something, and what we're gonna do is subject. Actually, let's pass a message. Let's uh do messages dot success, and well, let's just go up sure we did it up here we didn't anyhow let's leave out message because we probably didn't set up an HTML side we'll do that later so we'll just comment that or okay, take that out uh, let's just do subject is equal to or assigned to uh, newsletter dot subject
body is equal to newsletter body for uh, we need to do from email is equal to settings dot email email underscore host underscore user sorry I'm trying to remember how we did this without scrolling up and down uh, then we need to go through to email so for email in newsletter dot email and this is a many many so we need all and we're just going to send email <clears throat> or send mail subject is equal to subject from email equal to from email not from email from email uh, what else recipient list is equal to a list email uh, message is equal to body and uh, we'll do fail silently true just in case we get error that should be it and then we redirect uh, after this if statement runs, if it runs. Otherwise, we're going to redirect anyway. Uh, we probably should set up a message at some point. We're not going to do that now. Uh, Alright, so come down below your if request dot method post. We're going to add an else statement to that if uh, statement, and we're going to say else uh, form is equal to newsletter uh, creation form and we're just going to pass instance is equal to newsletter and we don't have this in the other form and the reason being let me make sure no we don't have it. uh <clears throat> the reason being that um we need to pass if it's not post we need to pass in something so we can display uh our um data to the form all right so you'll see what i'm talking about in a second when we run this and then we just got to uh go ahead and put in context context equal to a dictionary uh form form and template uh template we're going to use the same template as our newsletter creation where we create the um newsletter because there's no need to recreate this unless you really want to or you're adding some features that uh, the other newsletter doesn't have. But in our case, we're just using the same one because why repeat yourself? You don't have to. So return, render, uh, request, uh, template, context. All right, so that's, I th think, fairly straightforward. Um, Let's go ahead and set up our URLs. Uh, easiest way to do this is content. Uh, easiest way to do this is copy your uh, newsletter detail. All right, and then right below that, get and paste it in. And make sure you're tapped in properly. We're gonna change detail to uh, edit. And that should stay the same because we are passing the primary key. Change this to edit. Oops, sorry, I spelled edit. Edit. Change this to edit. And then right up here, we're just going to throw in our view. So control, control, underscore newsletter, underscore edit. There you go. And. <laughs> That should be it. Let's go and check it out. Um, server is running. So let's do control newsletter. Uh, 
Let's go to newsletter list. Oh, I know. I know what we should do. Let's make sure this just shows up. All right, so we should set this edit button up. Uh, so what was that in list? <clears throat> um, so our edit button should look like this. Curly brace, uh, percent symbol, uh, quote, and control, underscore panel. Uh, actually, I forgot something. URL, then quote, control, underscore panel, and then uh, control, newsletter, edit, um, and then your close out your quote, and then we're going to do pk is equal to item dot pk, so we can get our primary key, and then out here for sensible curly brace closes out our uh, quote, and while we're on the case of very uh. URLs, I should say. Um, let's go to our little link detail. And let's copy this link here. Typing again. I should have copied that link. Oh. Is that I can copy that. All right. Up here in edit, let's just go ahead and take out the button. Paste this in. Of course, it's going to be funny. Hmm. Get rid of that div. I don't know where that came from. Uh, change this to edit. I'll go back here and say newsletter underscore edit and then um, pk dot Newsletter, yeah, newsletter. Uh, PK. Oh, this PK is equal to, not that, equal to. That looks good. All right. Now let's go play around to see if we made this work. All right, no errors there. Go ahead and click edit and see what happens. Oh, there we go. Very pretty, right? We can see our forms. We can edit it. We can say newsletter yo. And go ahead and save. We sent that. And <laughs> my, my design skills stink. So I got a div here. What happened there? Oh. That guy out. Yeah, I don't mind my design skills here. All right, back in, refresh. Should make it look proper. There we go, somewhat proper. Let's change that edit to uh, something other than green. Let's call it info. Uh, it should be like a blue color, I think. There we go. All right, so we click on it. it should go to edit. Cool. Um, so we edit. We when we saved it, should have emailed something. Let me see on my other computing device here. Did I not set this to publish the the D E D Hold on. Yeah, publish new D. That's why I didn't send. Alright, like that in your view. Now this will run. So let's go back and just edit it. Um we'll say yo yo like that. 
save it. We get no errors, but my server's not running because it's lazy. All right, cool. Uh, let me see if the email went through. Yeah, I got it. So there we go. That was the issue. So that's how you set up and edit uh, a post or a newsletter, if you will. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Next tutorial, we'll delete these newsletters. I'll see you then.